My name is Robert Cocker, Jr. And my story has been one of uh, running from the Lord. But even at an old age, and uh, I'm presently 77 years old, he was able to lead me back to my Heavenly Father. Growing up, I can recall um, having a wonderful mother and father, having a wonderful home. We were not wealthy, but we enjoyed each other. I think I was about uh, maybe 12, a little bit less, when my father found Jesus. And he was, uh, gave him his life to Jesus in the Seventh-day Adventist church. We were used to going to church on Sunday. But all of a sudden, uh, my father uh, joined the Seventh-day Adventist Church, and our lives changed. We started going to church on <clears throat> the Sabbath. As a young man, I can remember uh, when we would go to church on the Sabbath, and we would spend most of the day in church, Sabbath school, afternoon uh, worship, and evening worship. But my father was an excellent uh, teacher. He um, taught the scripture to my brother and my sister. He trained us, he put that uh, information into us, and I feel that this is what led me back to the Lord eventually. I can remember going to high school. Um, I departed from those things that were taught. I didn't give the Lord a second thought. Even through college, uh, I went to uh, college, I played football in college, and um, most of my career in college was about me. It was not about the Lord, I was selfish. During that time as a, an athlete, um, there were certain morals that, that I had accepted from my father. You know, I, I felt that I was a good person. Uh, I, I didn't drink, I didn't smoke, I didn't use drugs. You know, I felt that I, I, I was a good person, but God was not in my life. Uh, there was always that, that feeling that something was missing. But uh, eventually, as, as I went on, um, I did find my way back into the church. But it wasn't the Seventh-day Adventist church. I found my way back into the uh, Methodist church. But uh, there was something missing eventually I walked away from that church when my son and I decided to start a business. I walked away from that church and entered into business. God has continued to bless me, even though I trample on His Word, even though I uh, left the Sabbath day, He continued to bless me. But eventually, I found Doug Batchelor, and I found Doug Batchelor on a TV program each Sunday. And I realized that this man, he was talking the things that I had been taught early in life. He was talking about some of the same things. And I, I continued to watch Doug Batchelor. I continued to watch his program every day. And I continued to analyze what he was teaching against the word of the other preachers that I was looking at on TV. Eventually, I received a, an invitation from a church here in Salisbury the Salisbury Seventh-day Adventist Church. They sent me an invitation to come to see Doug Batchelor. I thought Doug Batchelor was gonna be here in Salisbury. And when I arrived at the, the, uh, the congregation, the people in the church told me that no, it was gonna be a uh, televised version. From, he was in Charlotte, but the program was gonna be televised from Charlotte to here. But I came anyway and I, uh, I was able to meet the friendship, the friendly people of this church, they were warm and friendly and cordial, and they made me feel welcome. So I was able to see Doug and listen to his presentation here at the church. I left after that program. I didn't come back to the church, and it, I continued to watch Doug on TV. I continued to enjoy his program, but again, about a year, uh, uh, maybe a little more, more time, I received another invitation from this church. And that invitation was to be a guest at a, 
evangelistic program, out, evangelistic uh, outreach program. And so I decided to come to that program, and that program was presented by uh, Pastor uh, Scotty Deal. And my wife and I did not miss a single program. And after that program, we decided that we would attend this church on each Sabbath. A after coming to the church and um, being greeted with such, such warmth, there still was a, uh, an empty spot spot in my heart and that spot was finally filled when I decided to be baptized and commit myself to the Holy Spirit and, and the Word of God. Now that I've, I've been baptized, uh, I feel that God has, uh, is beginning to use me. Uh, I'm a new deacon in the church. As a member of this church and as a member of the Carolina Conference, I would urge each and every one of you to continue the love that you express to me. Express that warmth and love to everyone who enters the church.